good morning students in the last class i taught you about the one of the most important topic reasons right in this class i am going to teach you about the another one most important topic road performance curve yes when we are going to design when we are going to design a vehicle when you are going to design a vehicle first we need to know the what are types of vehicles are there what are types of structures are there how the chassis frames are designed how the chassis frames are designed after that we need to come to the actual performance actual performance of the vehicle design actual performance vehicle design right how we can decide how we can decide that that we can decide with the help of acceleration of the vehicle top speed of the vehicle acceleration due to gravity and ability to go up a slope and fuel economy noise level and durability these are the performance curve these are the performance things we need to consider with the help of that we can plot the curve we can plot the curve based on the speed in the first year in the first year what the speed maximum speed with the power availability at four wheels and for the second gear what is the maximum speed what is the maximum speed and total power availability at the wheels what is the speed for the third gear what is the speed for the top gear now we are having a gear for the up to fifth gear also right for the cars this is the power requirement this is a power requirement curve for the vehicle moving on the level road vehicle moving on the level road this is a power requirement how much amount of power required for a particular vehicle in the level road this is a next this is a normal gear for throttle when we are uh, putting the ideal ideal condition just switch on the just start the car just start the car it's not moving is not moving condition just start the car that condition how much amount of fuel enter into the engine that is a throttle condition throttle what is the purpose of throttle supply the fuel into the engine supply the fuel into the engine right uh, this will meet in the power required of the vehicle on the level road that is the the meeting point is the desired low road speed that is the desired road speed then this will reach the top gear speed top gear speed that is the maximum possible road speed maximum possible road speed right this is the performance curve this is the performance curve of the vehicle other another one type of vehicle curve also available Be, uh, with respect to the vehicle speed and tractive effort right next uh, next up we are going to study about the acceleration already we know acceleration what is my acceleration when you are give the acceleration the vehicle move forward vehicle move forward direction right it give the movements it give the movements to the vehicle it give the movements to the vehicle with the help of the moments the load the load of the vehicle will move move into the effective weight the effective weight weight of the vehicle is move to the effective weight that is considered w o e w o will w o will be move to the w o e here right effective weight moving weight due to that the acceleration the moving weight will be considered that's why we are going to substitute here w o e right this we can consider with the help of the surplus power with the help of surplus power that is w o e into f that we can conclude with the equation of tractive effort and resistance force this is the tractive effort f is the tractive effort r is the resistances right f equal to 1 by w o e into 
what f minus r f minus r okay right next one gradeability what is the gradeability that is the maximum percentage grade which can which a vehicle can negotiate with full rated condition with full rated condition that is the gradeability for example you will uh, you need to give a grade for a any one of the object suppose uh, you are using a mobile mobile phone how will you give grade it's good amazing like that you will check each and every performance of that then only you will give the grade right it is was are good or amazing like that same thing you are going to that particular vehicle credibility how it will work like that that also you are we can find theoretically with a surplus power with the help of this formula w into gradeability into v divided by 100 into 3600 from this we can find the gradeability from this we can find the gradeability here also the tractive effort and resistance will act more important thing there is a gradeability formula will be 100 by w into f minus r f is the tractive effort r is the resistance right w is the weight weight of the vehicle finally drawbar bull drawbar bull what's the drawbar bull when the excessive power is fully utilized for pulling extra load attached to the vehicle extra load attached to the vehicle when you are applying some extra load on the vehicle that time we are giving extra power to that vehicle to move that load move that vehicle right that is the drawbar bull drawbar bull right here also we have a formula drawbar bull is equal to f minus r tractive effort minus resistance is okay right this is a major thing we need to consider while designing a while designing a automobile vehicles automobile vehicles automobile bodies okay right in the next class i will teach you about the other more important topic thank you